today I'm gonna go over how to draw one way to draw digital caricatures for live events. It's a pretty simple process. Uh, my model is to the left and she's my good friend Marsh Burning. She's here in Seattle. She's a caricature artist as well. So I have four layers, a pre-sketch layer, color layer, shadows, and line. I start with my pre-sketch layer and I usually set the opacity down to like 60%, something like that. The reason is sometimes you do a pre-sketch and you go in and you do the line drawing and you do the whole face and then you go to color it and you realize you forgot to switch to your line layer and so you accidentally drew on your pre-sketch layer. And then you have to deal with that. So this, you can avoid it because you can see that your line is not coming out black, it's coming out as a dark gray. So you'll be aware if you're drawing on the wrong layer. So I start with a pre-sketch, I use a dark blue, I use a, my pre-sketch brush, I like it. So your pre-sketch should be simple, something like that. Not take too much time. I then go to my line layer. I pick black. And I have Ninja Sketch Line or Ninja Sketch Line 2. Ninja Sketch Line 1 or Ninja Sketch Line 2. You can pick either one. I threw in both line brushes that I use. Now you go in and you start markering it. Um, oh yeah, it's good to practice getting good thick and thin strokes. Uh, I think that's what like makes caricatures look really good is good line weight. So make sure you get that down. I would say that's almost one of the most important things. All right, so your line layer can look something like that. I go to my pre-sketch layer, I clear it, get rid of it. Now we go to the color layer. We can start with the lasso tool. I lasso out the entire silhouette. All around. I push add. I want this area gone. So while this selection is up still, I hit remove because I'm gonna re remove this little spot behind her head. So push that again, that removed it. Now she's a silhouette. So let's start with her hair. It's like a lightish brown. I'll airbrush it in. Oop. I forgot to get the bottom part, so I need to add this to it. Okay, back to airbrush. And while it's still selected, maybe you want to throw in some more highlights just to give some more d dimension. Something like that. Then I hold 
the lasso tool again and I'm going to go around the hair and I'm going to go back and trace it all because I finished the hair so I want to remove that from the selected area. Now just her face and her shirt are selected. So I will go back to the airbrush and I'm going to airbrush the entire part. Now I leave that selected and I'm going to now put in my cheek color and I go to this pre-sketch shading um, and I usually like to give people red noses because it's fun and cartoony. I'm going to switch to my solid fill and give her some lip color, some white, throw in the whites. And then color in her black shirt. Ooh, and blue eyes. Beautiful blue eyes. And all right, now unselect the whole thing. Let's go throw on some highlights in her eyes really quick. Now go to your shadow layer. And for my shadow color, I like to use this. You can use anything you want. Play around with it. Um, my shadow layer is on multiply. It's down to 43%. I like this purple color. And I use the solid fill. And I can use this purple color to color any shadows on the face and hair, the whole picture. I just use this one color. I mean, that's about it. There you go to caricature. It's pretty simple and um, that's one way to do it. So hope that helped. Thank you guys.